Uh, it's right now it's day to day. Uh, hamstring injuries are a little fickle, so day to day. He's certainly moving a lot better today than he was uh, Monday. So what, what happened today? You know, half the game was in on the end, and now it's just a stand to show more than what you thought post game. Yeah, look, I'm never going to comment on someone's injury after a game unless it's pretty obvious because a whole spectrum of things can happen after a game with an injury. So uh, he had some scans. There's some kind of hamstring disruption. And, uh, you know, it'll take one week, two weeks. I'm not sure. As soon as he can move at a pace to be effective in a game, he'll be back on the court. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, look, uh, it just gives someone else or several guys an opportunity to step up. And the thing about this team, what I would say is anytime we face a little adversity or something, someone's capitalized on that opportunity. So uh, I would expect someone will take that opportunity if it arises. Yeah, yeah, he's been full, full on this week of practice. Uh, if you review our game, the first time we played Wollongong over here, Mitch did a phenomenal job on Tyler Harvey. So... Uh, he will certainly get some type of assignment on Tyler. Yep. Uh, look, we <laughs> every game there's pressure right now. Uh, every every team has their own battles that they're fighting. Uh, for us, it's to make the playoffs. So if we underestimate Illawarra just because of where they sit on the ladder. Uh, that's shame on us because if you've been watching them over the last month, they've been putting themselves in great positions to win games. Sure. How are you going to handle get the kid put on the bench if he's injured even to get a game out of him to qualify for finals? Yeah, like Ty, Ty will qualify for finals. As I said, like his injury is a day to day injuries so for us to speculate and start doing all like I'm not into wasting time on energy and things that I don't I can't control that stuff so uh, Ty will qualify for the finals I believe he's at six games but just, just to be clear with Ty you said it's one to two weeks so it's day to day so is he out of his little or no 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 like what a, with a hamstring injury like you can say he could play tomorrow it may just labor him enough that he's out for a couple of weeks like it was like Mitch Norton, like originally they said he could potentially be out for three weeks and here he is playing within a week, you know. So uh, depending on where the injury is, like it can just linger. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I, with injuries, I, I just listen to the medical staff and when they tell me they're good to go, they're good to go. You had to use the same sort of five or six guys for the majority of games right yep. Uh, when those guys aren't playing well or I don't feel like we're playing a good way or a good style of basketball. So you don't feel like you're sort of handicapping the team a bit by relying so heavily on just six guys on the court? No. No. How heavily that affects free guys in general? A lot. A lot. And, uh, uh, you know, the, our rebounding when we're poor uh, we just rely on two or three guys and it's just not two or three guys. Like we need five guys in the fight every time the rebound or the ball goes in the air. And, uh, you know, I just address the team at the end of practice. We can talk about it. We can watch film. But the best way to address it is by action, and that's tomorrow night. It feels like, you know, in the first two minutes of the game, when they're mentally yep. three times, when you call the time out the first minute, well, any danger? Yep. Uh, are you working on anything pre-game to make sure that they're all locked in? No, look, uh, we, we have to change with our approach to each game. Uh, what I would say, and, and this isn't an excuse by any means, but Friday was a very emotional game. And I think you saw that with the way Sydney played themselves on Sunday. Um, and the way we come out Sunday was very lackluster against Southeast Melbourne. Um, but, you know, as someone alluded to before, our games are getting less and less to qualify for the playoffs. So, uh, 
you know, it's it's one game. It's virtually one game at a time. Otherwise, we will not be playing in the playoffs. Steve, you wanted to bring you without results. It's like it feels crazy. What's going on? It's a lot of things you don't run into. Yep, uh, and I think if if us, and when I say us, the Perth Wildcats worry about every game. We we lose focus of what our goal is. If we win four games, we don't have to worry about other results. So while we don't have to worry about other results, we should just worry about our own destination. No, like, in, and I would hope all the players would say, like, we worry about us first and foremost. If we start worrying about the other team, uh, I got to do the best job of getting the best out of our team before I start worrying about the opposition.